What's going on with everybody? It is your boy Eric, aka Young God, coming to you live in the Pink Dungeon, giving it to you real, real rugged. And I am back in here with another review. This is Isaiah Rashad. The house is burning. I feel like I don't have to tell you who he is. I reviewed all of his projects uh, for about the past three years. Those, particularly this project, has been very anticipated because this nigga ain't really been giving us nothing. You know what I'm saying, man? Nigga on Instagram live. Nigga, he giving nigga blue balls. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Isaiah Rashad. It's on a jam right here. You in here? And here he goes in here. And then you're like, oh, nigga, this is the best thing ever. When is it coming out? I don't know. All right, I'm off live now. It's like, bro, what's like, what are you doing? You feel me? Nigga been got um, cock teasing, you feel me? Nigga don't go to the club to spectate. You feel me? Like, oh, she fine, but I'm going to just watch it from afar. Nigga, I'm trying to I'm trying to film some titties you got there, baby. You know what I'm saying, nigga? This nigga got there. He's showing the titties. But, like, every time you try to feel it, he like, mm. you like, nigga, why you showing them? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what is you doing? Like, why your blue balls in the nigga? You feel me? But, hey, we finally here. And I know, you know what I'm saying, man. He always talking about the mental health stuff. So, your mental health is first. So, I'm glad the brother seemed to be in a better place. Now, all jokes aside, you feel me, man. You know, never, uh, never want to see a black man in any type of bad mental state you know but it's it's a reality in the in the community that we live in but without any further ado uh let's get right into it man pizza hut man brought to you by pizza hut let's do the doggone thing man the first song uh dark side bro love it man very very beautiful dark intro man with uh some niggas gonna die in the cardboard some niggas gonna die in the, what do you say some niggas gonna die in the cardboard some niggas gonna die in the feds is that you on that edge? Hey, I love that beat, man. I love the way he flowed on it with what, what, what is, what am I supposed to do outside but get rich? That the and affect it. That man, that nigga was freaking flowing on this, man. And it's crazy because Isaiah has this thing where he can do the singing rap thing while flowing like a rapper, but he's really singing. It's very cool. It's something that I guess that I'm not going to say started with him because, it, of course, he had music before this. But to the general public, it started with Sylvia Demo. We're like, yo, this nigga can do like these rappy, singy flows, but not sound like he's singing too much. It actually still sound like he's flowing on the beat. It's a very weird and I think difficult thing to pull off. Not a lot of people can pull that off. I think that's something that he does that doesn't get a lot of credit that he can actually combine the singing and rap thing because a lot of people sing and rap and it really just sound like they're doing like melodies or whatnot but it still sounds like he rapping when he is singing because he's flowing and he's like going in and out of pockets like a rapper would so yeah man shout out to Isaiah for track number one fire 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 and then we go to from the garden man featuring uzi man i love this song bro came out busting 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 busting hey this is fire bro i'm roll running and it, and it. That nigga was sly though here, man. What do you say? That one, was just, that was my summer. Can I listen, bro? That was one of my freaking favorite songs on here, just because he did a flow that I hated on. Um, uh, what's what's the last album called? It's slipping my mind right now. Uh, whatever that last album was called, it's a song gonna call "Jumping Off a Jet" or something about j j a jet or something like that. And it has a Duke feature on there. That might be one of the worst features I think to ever come out uh, since music has been composed, bro. This nigga Duke hopped on. It sounded like this nigga was eating. A, it's like he was watching uh, Hot Ones and he had all the bottles lined up. He was like, "Man, let me see if they're really hot." So he watching the DJ Khaled one and he trying every sauce that they trying and he got to the hottest sauce and throws like hey bro the studio finna close we, we need your verse he like man, 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 man. like bro niggas like he had hot sauce on his mouth bro he like the nigga was breathing with like that's just i really hate that feature and isaiah kind of the modified version of that flow but it was more swaggy bro i love the way he did it and then uzi oh my gosh man uzi came in this is one of my favorite features bro what he say that nigga say uh he say i got chanel on my feet and i rock with all my z's and i rock with all the b's like muhammad ali got a beat hold on i got that that burner way he was flown on his fire man shout out to uzi man uzi did his thing on here super duper fire song then we go to R.I.P. Young, man. Classic, 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 man. Got a lot of sample. This is classic Rashad. Classic, you know, uh, Project Pat sample, man. You got cheese. I got dope. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, uh, 
Baby said, baby said it, I'm a cool cat. Fuck that, tell them bitches I'm a top dog. Hey, that nigga was sliding on here, man. Shout out to the phrase cool cat, by the way. You know, shout out to Top Dog Entertainment and all that. Shout out to the cool cats. I was literally just talking about this the other day. I've never heard a lame nigga use the phrase cool cat. It's usually older black dudes, and if it's a young brother saying it, that nigga cool, bro. I was interviewing Babyface Ray, and he was like, he was like, yeah, man, you know I got to stay tapped in with all the cool cats. I like, yeah, this nigga hit different. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no young nigga saying cool cat and being a lame nigga. So shout out to the cool cats out there, man. This is a fire song, though, bro. Uh, what he say? When I'm in the wit, when I'm in the midwest, she say holla at your family. My dog passed me his cup. Hold on. Say like candy. Hey, that's it. That was fire, man. I love the way you float on this. I love the beat. It low key make me want to go to Texas. The way the beat sounds, bro. Maybe want to go pull some lean and goddamn switch lanes and freestyle like a Texas nigga, man. You know how the Texas niggas be, bro. I love older Texas niggas freestyle because every nigga that was popping in Texas from like the early to mid 2000s. All freestyle the same, man, you know. And it's going down in that age time. And you want to flow, niggas really know. I came through dripping with the damn polo. <laughs> bro, all of them niggas freestyle like that, bro. And we switching lanes with the candy cane. And they all rap over the uh, the, the classic the, the 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 classic screw beat, man. These niggas are freaking hilarious. Love the way they freestyle. Love this song. Uh, shout, like I said, shout out to the Project Pata uh, sample in the background. Fire, fire, fire. And then we want to lay with you, man. Uh, last year you were my bitch, now you my baby girl. Last year you were my bitch, now you my baby girl. <laughs> Teacher Duke Deuce, man. Gotta love Duke Deuce, bro. That is the biggest nigga I ever seen move like that, bro. They need to put that nigga in the league, bro. That nigga got them move like Aaron Donald, bro. That big ass nigga, boy. He be, ugh. That boy, that big ass nigga, boy. He be crit walking in GD walk. I'm like, bro, this nigga, he be cutting a rug, boy. Boy, that nigga out there be doing all types of moves. Boy, he be doing new moves. Nigga doing old moves. Like, nigga, is that nigga doing a Charleston, nigga? <laughs> Be in his garage, goddamn doing the jitterbug, goddamn did he do it to the to the folks in your moonwalk? I'm like, bro, this nigga done did a '80s dance, a 2010 dance, a '50s dance, bro. That that brother there, boy. If rapping don't ever go his way, but because boy, he can rap, man. Shout out to Duke Dude's rapping ability. But if he was just like, ah, I'm over this rapping thing, hey, man, that nigga could definitely be like a, a crump dancer or something. Y'all ever seen the movie Rise? With <laughs> I could definitely see that nigga like banging with Tommy the Clown or something, man. That nigga's fire, bro. But this is a very, very fire song. Um, this was like the first single release, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, then we go to Claymore, man. Claymore featuring Smino. Smino's a legend, bro. Shout out to Smee, man. I love Smino. Uh, what he does, very difficult to do. Arguably one of the most underrated rappers out in the game right now. I mean, when he puts out a project, he never misses. And he's just so, 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 so good, man. Love Smee, man. Uh, I love the way he just... Everything, everything, everything. And then he came in with the smooth hook, man. This is... Low-key was a Smee No song, man. The way he just flipped it into his own thing, man. And then the way the, the, the song sounded just so smooth, man. You know what I'm saying, bro? I don't smoke, but I would imagine if I was to smoke and get on a flight... This song would be like the the soundtrack to me on that flight, man. I just played this a like thirty times. You feel me? So fire, fire stuff. Shout out to me and shout out to Rashad for this one. Uh, then we go to headshots for the locals, man. Uh, shout out to him for always talking before or after a song. I always think like, do rappers really be talking to niggas or like? Do they be like trying to be cool? You know how niggas be like, hey, bro, turn me up in the headphones. Like, do niggas really be need to turn up in the headphones or they just saying that? Like, <laughs> like, like, do it already be about to bust their eardrums? Nigga want to sound cool? Hey, bro, turn up in the headphones. Nigga for a turn. <laughs> nigga, the I'm trying to go. No, no, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> nigga finna bust the eardrums out trying to sound cool. Fire song, though, man. I love this, man. This is a, uh, what do you say? Okay, you call me y'all surprise in a brand new. Baby, see me on the sides. If you gon' don't trip, and the phone don't fit. I don't know why. Every time, like the every every time, like there's like space in between that hook. I just say I wanna, I I, I wanna, I wanna rock right now. It made me think about the original song and that um and that uh Pee Wee song. You ever heard a Pee Wee Lonely song? Uh, Rerock. 
fire song. If you never heard that, that nigga Pee Wee Longway was losing his mind on that song, bro. <laughs> nigga was losing his damn marbles, man. Fire song. Um, uh, he had a bar. What he said? He said, uh, "I kick shit like judo, judo, judo." Uh, fun fact: If Isaiah, if anybody's watching this right now, uh, judo has no kicking in it. By the way, uh, big MMA guy over here. Uh, really, I've been watching a lot of Olympics, and they had judo. No idea how you score in judo. It's a lot of hugging, a lot of arm twisting, a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I was watching so much crazy stuff in the Olympics, bro. A nigga was watching stuff I did not understand. I was watching niggas uh, kayak. I was watching niggas play handball. Handball is actually probably the most electric sport out there, bro. If niggas knew what handball was, bro, that would be the most electric. I'm talking about niggas just get a ball, niggas crossing them up without actually dribbling the ball, niggas just throw the ball in the net. Just imagine soccer and basketball so you can actually palm the soccer ball you gotta throw in the net bro imagine lebron in hand boy i'm talking about if niggas knew about handball bro crowd might go down because a lot of niggas ain't good at basketball you know a lot of niggas too short a lot of niggas not fast enough for football but handball that just pure niggatry you feel i mean you every every black person i know you got that innate nigga strength Hey, bro, I'm telling you, handball, that might decrease the crime rate, bro. I ain't going to hold you, bro. I'm about to start some up, bro. If any nigga want to join my local handball team, bro, hit me up, man, because that really might be some fire for black people. Um, But no, fire song. Uh, and then we go to All Her featuring uh, Mindy. I don't know how to say her name. Uh, excuse me if I'm butchering it, but she is hard, bro. She reminded me of Lauren Hill almost. Like, I wanted to hear Lauren Hill on this song after hearing her. She is super duper talented. I'm going to look her up after this review. Um, super duper fire with the running in the momentum, dun dun, running in the dun 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 dun. Like the way she was flowing, the way she was singing, that sounded like some old Lauren Hill junk. And I was like, bro, Lauren Hill will be super duper fire. I think Lauren Hill is gonna be on that new Nas album. I really want to hear what she's gonna do, man. Lauren Hill, what a what a what if? Like that's like one of the biggest what ifs in in hip hop history. But uh, yeah, fire fire song. Um, what else we got? Uh, hey, Mister Man, this is hard, bro. That the way this beat is, who I, I meant to look up who produced this beat. Whoever produced this beat was in their bag. This sounds like something you would roller skate to. I would just imagine people in the, like the club, like and not the club, but in the. Uh, <laughs> hey, last time I went to the the, the the skating ring, it was like a club. Uh, niggas was shooting. Uh, the cops of pepper spray people. I mean, it, 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 it was girls dressed like they was at a club, so it was a club. But yeah, it, I would imagine like if you was at like a skating ring. This is like a fire song to get your skate on to right here, man. Super duper hard song. Hey, Mister is a standout song in my opinion. Super duper good stuff. Then we're going to try number nine, True Story featuring J-Rock and Jay worthy Both of the J's, man. JJ. Um, so, yeah. Listen to this song. Shout out to J-Rock, bro. One of the most solid niggas ever, right? Like, I would imagine if he had to do something that was not solid, like, he would just, like, spontaneous combust. Like, imagine J-Rock just doing anything that's not just solid, bro. Like, he just seems like the most solid nigga ever bro i feel like nigga handshakes are solid like i feel like the nigga the nigga jokes are solid you like nigga, that was a solid ass joke right like yeah, i think just a solid nigga bro shout out to j-rock man and jay he he went crazy on this that was a probably one of the best features on here and then jay worthy love his feature he has like a Jay Worthy is like one of the most West Coast niggas ever, bro. Like every time I hear this nigga, I'm like, bro, let me get a 40. I don't even drink, bro. I just want, I just want to pour out a, I want to buy a 40 and just pour the whole thing out as I listen to a Jay Worthy song, bro. That nigga just got them. He be having me the West West. I be, I be talking about West West. Like I think I'm from the North Side of Jacksonville. Like he really like has that West Coast just persona down pack. Shout out to Mr. Jay Worthy. And then what else we got? We have uh, what you said featuring I am Dochi and Cal Banks. Man, this is a super duper fire song with people I've never heard of. Where's my phone? Because I have to read out some of the lyrics for this, man. This is super duper hard. Cal Banks, I would imagine that was the woman on the song. She's super duper good. She sounded like a, a nigga Asian, if that make any sense. Because at points, she sounded like some type of anime character. And I was like, yo, this is fire. And then I was like, oh, no, nah, this is a black woman right here. You feel me? And I was like, oh, is, is this an anime character? Like the way she was going in between both of them voices, I was like, nah, this is fire. So shout out to Cal Banks for being in her nigga Asian bag. And I am Dochi. I rock with this nigga because this nigga's like an old ass man. I don't know how old this nigga is, but this nigga sounded like he was at least, boy, I'm 55, 50 Sam at least. I'm this nigga's like an old man. Definitely his the last part of the song where he was talking about um 
what he say? Uh, let me pull up the lyrics real quick. It was the part where he say, uh, he said, uh, he said, all the hole with the short saying, and you got to do say fall not your glass. Your old man, he don't want you in the club because you didn't push a pop and start fights in the club. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this nigga head sound like he is, I think it's like he grew up in the Jim Crow era, man. So I tie him dochi for having the very like old man flow type voice on this. That was super duper fire. I need to look up more I am dochi if he raps like that then i am i'm a big fan of him already if cal bank sounds like that i'm a big fan already with the don't man it be the jose man jose man that's why i'm to a black say oh they man oh they all okay she swagged on her right now and she went back in that little rapid voice she was doing fire bro fire 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 song uh then we go to don't shoot uh don't shoot was a good song i thought that was a pretty cool song pretty good uh pretty cool concept don't shoot uh he had a he had a bar about um he said they be going in my pockets i be going in my pockets they be trying to find a light and i be trying to find my lighter i thought that was fire um don't shoot was interesting what he said he said uh he said they've been locking my niggas up for 28 summers. He only been free for three or four summers, or, or, or three or four months or something like that. Like the way the way he the way he tied all that in, I thought that was a pretty cool concept. Pretty good song. Uh, they're gonna chat featuring YG Touch. Shout out to YG Touch. Haven't heard that name in a minute. Uh, love YG Touch, man. I'm glad to see him on here. I had an interview with YG Touch years and years ago. Cool guy, very very cool guy. Shout out to YG Touch. Um, and yeah, this is like a fire chill song. Like I didn't really have too much to say, but this is something I feel like if you just want to chill put some on this is the song to go to right here uh nine three freestyle he slid on this fire song uh what he said something like uh at the very beginning he was like uh the girl you sucked at me so good you get a b plus <laughs> it's funny couldn't have been simone richards man I, that's exactly couldn't have been talking about her uh hey if you're 19 year old uh if you're 19 years old sucking meat like that hey god bless your heart <laughs> i mean i don't know where you learned that one from but boy i mean simone richards she you know how like when lebron finna dunk they'd be like no regard for human life she be sucking meat like it ain't no regard for human life man just just putting balls to the walls man miss Simone Richards, what a talent. Uh, track number 14, score featuring SZA and Six Lack. All right, so everybody knows how I feel about Six Lack. I have slandered Six Lack to the mountains just because of his remix. I'm not going to talk about it too much, but his remix of uh, I Can Hear the Perky's Calling. He made one call. Uh, I could hear my ex call him. I'm just going to say I did, didn't like it. I always ran about it. And I always just kind of disregard his features. But can't lie. Got to give a little bit of apology. Sorry for that. This is a really good feature, Six Lack. You did your thing on here. Shout out to Six Lack, man. I can't even hate. I don't I don't play this song just to try to go back to your feature sometimes. Like, let me hear what the boy Six Lack talking about. Just bob my head. So, hey. Sorry for the slander in the past, my brother. You did your thing on here. You know what I'm saying? I still ain't forget what you did to, 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 to the feature song. But still, my boy. I like this feature a lot, and I'm not going to lie, I want to hear some more Six Lack. So, I kind of been, you know what I'm saying, disregarding Six Lack. I'm going to listen to his last album. I heard his last album was fire. So, hey, shout out to Six Lack. SZA, of course, the queen, the beautiful woman herself, uh, did her thing on here. Fire song. I, I really did like this song a lot. Then we go to Thib, uh, The House is Burning. Shout out to Goody Mob. Who's that creeping in my window? Who, who, who's that fucking with my conscience? I don't. That's fire little flip right here. This sounds like something Timbaland and Missy would have did. I love like the, the way the beat sounds. Uh, all this misses the Timbaland ad libs with the, yeah, come on. Ooh. You know how Timbaland, he be doing automatopia. Niggas like he reading a comic book while he doing ad libs. Boom. Yeah. Like, the nigga be making just random noises. Shout out to that. Um, Super duper fire song, man. Who's that creeping in my window? Who, who's that? Who's that creeping in my window? Who, who? I love that flip. Super duper fire song. And then he closes the album out uh, with, what's the name? Is it, is it HB2U? I think it's HB2U. Oh, my gosh. I'm dropping stuff. It is HB2U. Um, this is hard, man. Another song that I wrote down, I want to hear Lauryn Hill on this, man. I don't know why Lauryn Hill has been popping my mind a lot while I listen to this album. But I feel like the way that he kind of combines that rap and singing thing, I could see her really rocking with it and doing justice to a lot of these songs as a feature. So, yeah, man, HB2U, that was a super duper fire song. It has, like, two parts to it. 
um it's one of the uh it's one part where he's singing on the hook and like the nigga sound like his his jaw locking you know what i'm saying like that kodak and, and french montana song uh but it was fire the way he did it uh it was the uh slip and slide i'm out of here inside the whip a thousand thousand years i want my payback it was the i want my payback baby hey man i love that man this is a, such a such an interesting take on the hook i love the way he did it uh hb2u super duper fire song um what what, what, what do you say uh slip and slide i'm out of here inside the room i want my payback all for you slip and slide inside of here inside the whip a thousand years a thousand bro it was fire bro and then it goes into uh like i said a different song it's like a hidden song at the very end um i love this bro this nigga sound like mac demarco and it was in his i guess he was i don't know black demarco bro i really do like this a lot uh with the i should put all of my trust in religion hey man i love this bro this is such a uh just different type of song like i i low-key want just an acoustic version of this i think it'll be really fire have i been cheating myself i'm imploding she's sick and tired of listening i'm broke this ain't the time of my life but i'm still on drugs this is just a weekend buzz fire man shout out to Azera shot for always having solid solid outros and arguably the best song on here i love hbtu both of the songs in here so hey that's all I got. I think this is a really solid album for the weight that we had to wait or the weight that we had to endure. I think that he delivered. I don't know how you guys felt. Let me know. But uh, yeah, man, shout out to Isaiah. Can't wait to hear what he has next. Until next time, I say what I mean. I mean what I say. Haters gonna hate and uh, uh, players gonna play, man. Y'all holla at your boy, no, man.